Dear students, today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to operate learning management system. The system that Little Angels School is going to introduce very soon. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go to Google Chrome. Remember that this new learning management system can be used by both mobile user as well as laptop user. The procedure is same for both. Uh, you need to go through Google Chrome. It does not have any app, so you don't need to download any app. Instead, go through Google Chrome only. Click on Google Chrome and then uh, this user I'm doing, I've been using this. Uh, it does have all three parts. I'm going to deal this with three parts. Number one is login part, how to log in. Number two is how to go online. And number three is during your offline, what you need to do. So three parts I'm going to deal with you. The first part is login part. So login part, open Google Chrome and type the uh, name link that is l a dot i'm sorry l a s l a s remember l a s dot l a c l o u d l m s dot c o m I repeat, LAS dot LA cloud LMS. LAS dot LA cloud LMS dot com. This is the address. So I have already typed the address. You should not forget the address. And then you'll get this interface. In this interface, it has got Hello, I'm a teacher. Hello, I'm a student. Hello, I'm a parent. So for if the teacher should go through, hello, I'm a teacher, student go through this, student, and parent should go through this. Now, since this video is for the student, the student should click here, hello, I'm a student. So click on it. Fine. And after clicking there, remember that you should not type your email address here. You should not type email address. You should not type password here. Instead, there is one option here. Log in with Google. Only this can be log in with Google. Log in with Google. So remember that. Do not type email address and password here. Instead, you have to log in with Google. Log in with Google. Okay, I click here. And after that, you'll have these options. For the first time, you have to go to use another account first time when you log in. And the second time onwards, your address will be here. Second time onwards, your address will be here. So you can click that address. But first time, use another account. First time when you log in, click on use another. And the account here, you need to type the account that the account that Little Angels School has given, the official account that has like LAS that has. So what, if you, do, if you have not got your email address, you can contact your class teacher. The class teacher will give you. Remember that whenever you have any trouble, first you need to contact your class teacher and the class teacher will give you the solution. So me as a student, Okay, me as a student, I'll type my email address. So this is my email address and next. I do next and I'll type my address, password. I'm typing my password, okay. So user ID and password the user ID and password that school has given to you. It is not your own and you should not forget your 
email address and password. And remember that as soon as you get your password, email address and password, you need to change your password. Otherwise, the student, your friends or someone else might uh, uh, use that and later on you will be in trouble. And that should not be your user ID and password need to be very confidential. If in you leak or if you leak or if you give to someone and they use that and misbehave in the classroom, then you will have to be responsible for that because it is your email address, because it's your name. So you cannot make excuse later. And remember user ID and password, keep it confidentially right somewhere and your password in email address you should not forget so you see here now login part is completed so login part i have completed now second part that is how to go online that part i'm going to teach so login part completed how you have logged in i have finished so now you see subjects me as a demo student, I've got only one subject, but you will be getting all your subject here. As many subject you have, you will get all your subject will be there. And you need to remember, according to the schedule, according to the your routine that has been given, you need to select the subject. So at the moment, I have got demo subject, demo A I have got. If you have like English, the time for English, so choose that subject. If you have time for Nepali, that you need to choose. Time for science, yes. Time for um, uh, mathematics, yes. Time for optional mathematics, time for OBT, whatever it is, your subject. So accordingly, you need to choose. All your subject will be there. Only your subject will be there. There will not be any other extra subject. <clears throat> and you have to choose according to the timetable that school has provided. So for me now, it's a for me class is of demo student class is of demo subject. So I'm click on, so click on. And then your session is there. Look at that. Subject is there. Subjects, remember it should be in subject. By default, it will be in subject itself and demo subject, your routine subject. And here you will see and pull this down. This is scroll down. Yeah, if you scroll, you will see yes. Now this are red marks. Red mark, when it is the time for your class, this red marks will be shown. If it is not, blue mark will be shown. So red marks means the class has already, the time for class has already started. So you should click on it, click, that's it. So when you click straight, when you, you click there, now you click there. Now you, it is a problem here. So basically the student will face the problem here. You see, this is a mail for Bishnu, uh, mail for Bishnu Bhusal dot uh, at gmail.com. You see here, this mail for Bishnu Bhusal at gmail.com. This is not the official account for logging into this, um, for logging into this platform that is learning management system. So switch account, mostly remember this, you have to be careful. That's why ready to join it is said, no session, no nothing has been mentioned. If you click your ask to join, just you'll be holding yourself, but you'll not be going to the class. So switch account, you need to do it. Switch account, remember. Remember that which account is the mail for your official is there. This is my personal. That is why if I join it, I'll not go to the class. So I should do it, switch account and choose my official account. Switch account. And my, this official account is this one. Demo student, I'll, this is my official account. I choose here. Now you see demo student, it is in my account is seen here. Okay. Now only ready to join, you see. Now the session grammar time, grammar session is there. It is shown already. Now join now, you can do it, yes. Fine. If you join, then what happens is immediately you will go reach to your class. You will not have any problem. You have now, you have already reached to the class and the teacher will now give you the class okay this is how this ends and remember when you are in the class do not do any mischievous do not disturb to the teacher if you do so uh, you will be suspended and once you suspended then you have to uh, pass film so many procedure like you might have to contact the class teacher and you might have to contact your dad and your parents have to write a request letter 
and then and then only that will be again you'll be able to that so better give a conducive environment for your teacher and other students learning students to learn or to teach okay this is how camera is here you can mute and unmute here mute and unmute option is the here you can uh, do it this you can video on you can do it here this is off now you can click and video off if you want any questions with the teacher you can just click here this raise hands is there and that's all otherwise just to wait for the teacher okay and end class after when a class is over you just click here and so yeah clicked fine so this is how online part has completed so i have completed the online part now after this online part I'm going to do this. So second part also I have completed. First is login part I, I have completed. Second is online part com I have completed. The third one is now when you are offline, what you need to do. See here, first is the assessment part is that I'm going to teach you about assessment. So assessment is any homework or any uh, like evaluating assessment if the teacher give, gives you, it is here, click on assignment now. When you click on assignment, you see this much altogether. Uh, this student has got this much assignment the student has got. Like these two assignments, the student has already submitted. And this one, two, three, the student, that is demo student. You, there is demo student has not completed yet. Your, that is you are logging. So teacher will also know the individual students, whether they have submitted or not. So here you see not submitted. Let's see how to submit one view this. Okay, then view this. Okay, is not submitted yet. Okay, it says that you have not submitted this. I go down. Okay, not started now. Roll, scroll down here. And here you'll find on your right bottom start as assessment. You can click on it. Okay start assessment click on it okay this has been already click okay status progress and then here you have got attachment download this download this this is the assessment you have given okay this reading this whatever it is you do it okay after you do it in your copy click the photos okay and click the photos and images, convert into PDF file. It is a submit in PDF file, it says. And we will teach you how to convert in PDF file or you can learn through online. So submit assessment is there. Click the submit assessment. And then after that submit assessment. Okay, any description if I, sir, I have submitted, sir. I have submitted. I have submitted, sorry, as you mean, my TTE, TTE, I have submitted the assignment of grammar. Whatever, if you have any like to say to a teacher, you can do it and choose file. After that, when you do it, choose file, you should do it, choose file. And where you have taken the, your click, wherever you have taken your click from there, you can choose at the moment, let's say active and passive voice. I choose here, open, okay. After this, after this, uh, just scroll down and here submit is there, okay. So the student has submitted the assignment. You have submitted the assignment. This is how the assignment is completed. You see, now you see assignment now submitted, the active and passive way submitted. Next, if you want to do this view, this is how, this is how you can submit your uh, assignment. Assignment, okay. Notice, notes. Now, whatever the teacher teaching materials, the teacher will post here. This notes means the teaching material that teacher post so that will be all together here the three grammar portion only the teacher has submitted three for example if you want to see view note click on it 
click on the view note. Okay. And you see here down here attachment is the attachment is there active and passive voice here you can click on it click on it fine you can view little teaching materials these are the teaching materials that teacher has given you and down there homework assignment is down there after reading that this is the exercise that and that has been also posted in the further your assignment so this is how you can read it close now you can download and keep it in your file or it will be here too. So this is how the notes you will find. So all together, test. Test is, you see, all together the teacher has given you three tests and not submitted here. Deadline is over. One, two, three. Deadline is over, not submitted. Your status is not submitted. As well. But here is still here. Take test is option is there. Means the exam time is on process, progress. So you can you should click on it, take test, click on take, take test, and here this is the question. Demo test, subject, this is there, demo subject, this is three hours and zero zero minutes is there. Can candidates are answer, read the instruction first, and then candidates' name you should write your name and center number. Uh, center number you can write your code number. Uh, sorry, candidate center number you can write to Little Angel School or you can leave it, no problem. And then candidate number, your registration number, you should write it. Your time has started, two hours and 29 minutes is there uh, because uh, it, the session has started earlier. I have, pre I have started very late, that is why. And then attachment is here. Click on the attachment and the question is here. And then do all in your answer paper. This is question exam. Do all the attempt, all these things in your uh, copy. And remember that when you are writing your in your copy, uh, in, when you are attempt, attempting your exam, do not forget to write your name, class, section, your registration number, and page number in every page. In every page, remember, you should write it. Otherwise, the Copy might be mismatch, sorry, or as or such, and you'll have a and might be you'll you'll be getting less marks too. And then after this, take a photo. You did it. Convert into PDF file. Before taking an exam, you need to learn to you how to use the PDF file and choose file option is here. Click on choose file. You can see. Okay, choose file. Okay, you did it somewhere, choose file. Let's see one I'll choose here. Uh, choose your file, any, um, anyone in that you, you have choose file that the, you have written exam and mention even in the exam, exam uh, file name as, uh, um, file name as your English or something like English or whatever subject you did and submit, you do it fine. Submitting 100% completed. That means you have submitted. Now it has gone to your, teacher it is going to be attempted the option is here attempted is given and in one more time in session part i'll tell you this is how almost have if you have anything to say to your teacher you can type the message here sir sir please suppose please provide me provide us the notes of parts of his speech. Okay. And you can say, click on it and post it. Okay. Suppose you are sick. Sir, I could not attend my class today because I am not well. I know. Uh, not well. You can mention that. And and tell your parents to call to your teacher too, so that inform to your teacher. You can write a message here and inform to your teacher to by telephone call if you are sick or any important work. Otherwise, you need to attend all the classes. This is how uh, we do this. This is how it works. And here about this classroom, this a detail about this classroom is there. If you click on it, if you are a student, if you are that fine, this is all here. If it is like you are shared files, if the teacher has shared file, file will be here. Basically, teacher will be giving you in notes. 
So additionally, you can scroll down, you can see here, this part you can see very lightly visible the scroll is there. So you have to pull down this. So you have got option here, teachers, subject is there already, I have mentioned. Notice, click on notice. If any notice is dispatched, you will find here. Calendar, uh, at the moment, uh, we are not posting the calendar. As soon as we um, um, finalize the calendar, we'll do it here. Syllabus, if you want to see syllabus, you'll be here. Okay, syllabus later in the exam time. And evaluation part, evaluation here. Now, remember that in evaluation part, it can love you, your just I'll keep evaluation part. Okay, select the terminal. And suppose first term, term, terminal. Select the subject, demo subject. Submit, suppose. If you see or if your parents see, sees, they will see. They will find it. Look at here. This is your attendance. Day one, day one, day one, day one, demo, the active and passive. All in this, you are attendance you are absent here look at this your teachers your parents will be able to see or you can see how many days you are that even it is in the end of the teacher as well teacher has attendance in attendance also how many days you have taken the classes or absent you can see your parents can see your teacher can see look at the attendance evaluation of the attendance assignment you can see the result of evaluation is not started yet so assignment, assignment result you will be getting. Presentation. So presentation evaluation has not started. As it is started or you got a mark, it will be here. Others homework. Homework, if anything teacher does here, correct, send you, it will be here. Test score result, test result will be here. Similarly, you can see. So remember now for attendance, you cannot deceive your parents, you cannot deceive your teacher. Immediately, they will know it. If, the, if parents ask your attendance, we will say them, okay, go to evaluation part and check the attendance. We will tell you even um, that will be in the end of parents as well. So you need to be very regular in your class. Mark sheet is here. Mark sheet, your, your, that your parents can see the mark sheet as well. You can see first term. So first term result has not been yet. That is why it is not seen otherwise your mark sheet also will be visible here according to term wise. And if you want to log in, here you can log in option is there, log out, log out option is there, pull down, log out option. So log out, this is how uh, the this session or learning management system, the uh, video gets over. I hope you all got the points all and go follow accordingly so that you'll not have any problem. Uh, before you um, take the class, go through it properly. Go to twice, thrice, you can go to, until and unless you get clear so that you don't have to get hassle or contact to anyone. And remember that one more time, I, I repeat, if you have any problem, contact to your class teacher. Always your class teacher is first for you. Always the, your, your class teacher will know about you. And then only, to the in charge. If again you need a help of in charge or vice principal or principal, then the the class teacher will manage that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day.